Oh, very. You wouldn't happen to be fixed for wine, would you? Nope. All right. Be that way. Oh, very. Not what I meant to do. You can't do much with the whole of the building other than war. Oh, it's actually open. Okay. Didn't realize it was open. Sorry, narrator. What a sassy little guy he is. Welcome to the come and go. Please keep your hands where I can see them. It's my only chance. <sighs> no. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I'm out of cash. Hardy Steen wine. I don't like it as much as Napa Valley Outhouse, but it is ebullient and syrupy. We are open 24 hours for all your unsavory needs. Alright. Well, I got my wine, so that means I could talk to this guy. Wait just a minute, Mr. Shoplifter. Come over here right this moment. My aim is improving. Yay for me! <laughs> Larry, you've always said that shoplifters deserve to be put out of their misery. Do I still have the wine, or...? Show me the money, or put it back where you found it. This is not a drill. Oh, God. Okay. You replace the... Hey, buddy. Hey. You look worse than I do. I'm a little down on my luck. You smell worse than I do, too. I have some problems. Yeah, well, you're making them everyone's problems. Here, maybe this will put you back on your feet. Use it for whatever you need. And cheer the hell up. You're bringing everybody down. Thank you, bum. I guarantee I'll put this to good use. That's what they all say the first time. And the name is Roddy Contiki, not bum. <laughs> so how much did he give me? Ten bucks. Welcome to the come and go. We only carry up to $20,000 cash in the safe. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. Never in my life do I hope to smell anything again as vile as your present exhalations. Yes, yes, I get the picture. You take the Harvey Steen wine again. You don't have enough money to cover your purchase. Give me that. Now I must restock it at great inconvenience to me. Thank you. The clerk takes back your wine box. I think there's only one thing I can do. There we go. See, kids, gambling's always the answer. You take the Harvey Steen wine again. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. There we go. Let's get out of here. Apples, apples, apples for sale. Get your fresh apples here, only one dollar. Hey, mister. I presume it's mister. I can't see under your barrel. The name's Tim, Tim Tibbets. And you are? Larry. 
Larry Laffer? What's your question, Larry? Well, um, I see you're wearing a barrel, and I figure this can only mean one thing. You're going to go over Niagara Falls. Interesting. Furthermore, since Lost Wages is near the West Coast, and Niagara Falls is near the East Coast, and you're already in the barrel, you must be super wealthy. <laughs> They'll never let you on a commercial airline addressed that way. Your mind works in strange and mysterious ways, Larry. Actually, I'm broke. That's why I'm dressed this way. Wanna buy an apple? Let me think about it. It would be kind of cool to buy an apple from a really rich guy. Here's a buck. I'll take an apple. Thank you, sir. Here you go. Um, um. By the way, can I save? Otaku. Okay. Not talking much because I'm thinking a lot. But so far, I have wine now. No, no. Oh, dang it. Gandalf for president. Dirty neat didn't your mother ever warn you about going into dark alleys? Sink in the pink green at the door. All right, we're back here again. Hey, dude, I got your wine. Don't play in the street. You have nothing appropriate to use with this building. Yes, I'm giving you some wine. Oh, look. Harvey Steen wine. You shouldn't have. Thanks for thinking of me. You're more than welcome. Hmm. Syrupy. And reminiscent of a Manischewitz cream red Concord. I think I'll share this with my friend Chris. Maybe you know the guy. Kind of this tall, about this wide, brownish hair. I don't think I know him. Used to be a cabin boy. Lives next to the toilet in Lefties. Uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, here's a thank you from me to you. What'd I get? One of my prized possessions that I don't want. A genuine <laughs> French army knife. Wow, thanks! I wouldn't count on it in a fight, if you know what I mean. Thanks again. All right, so I have a French army knife. What I can use that for, I don't know. And he's just gonna fall around. Hmm. Yes. And apparently I can't walk anywhere. All right. I'm gonna try something silly. Now I'm broke. Welcome to the come and go. Let us cater your next trip across state lines. I'm broke in Vegas. Only have a couple uh, dollars to my name. How do I get more money? You guessed it. And believe it or not, I have done this. I had to win some money in Vegas to um, get back to uh, get enough money to get gas to go home. Luckily enough, I won enough. But not today. Sadly, Larry doesn't have the same luck I do. Oh yeah, God, I had to leave a day early. Luckily, the hotel refunded some of my money, but it was just barely enough to get by. Oh, he's gonna give me some more money. Hey, buddy. Hi, Mr. Contiki. Didn't work out so well, did it? I was making progress. That's what they all say, <laughs> the second time. Thank you again. So did he give me 10 bucks again? Yes, he did. Okay, so I have ten bucks. Well, I can't really go anywhere for ten bucks. That's the problem. Welcome to the come and go, where you'll never find milk for more. So again, the game plan is to win as much money as I can. And what happens if I don't have enough money and I go on a taxi?
Mita says 23 bucks. Pay up. Let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. What's this? You trying to stiff me? Of course not. You're a dude. I mean, you trying to cheat me out of my fare? I didn't know it was going to be that much. Uh, now, see, in my book, that ain't a reasonable excuse. Now I'm going to have to murderize you. Wait, tell me more about your book. Take it. Take it. Larry, cab rides can cost up to $24 in this town. Didn't we mention that before? Silly us. <laughs> All right, so I have enough money to get a taxi ride. So now, again, like I said, I actually did that once in uh. Where am I taking you now? In Vegas, so I actually had to win enough money to get home. Oh, college was a fun time. Breaks up for sissies. It'll be sixteen bucks, please. Sweet. He's gonna leave me with some money. Thanks, kid. Good thing I don't have to tip. By the way, I haven't been over to, well... Careful, Larry. That succubus is not to be trusted. I don't know what a succubus is, but it sounds fantastic. Uh, it's $5.99 down at the, uh, at the uh, corner lot. Apples! Apples! Apples for sale! Get your... Yes, yes. I already got apples. Thank you, sir. What I'm doing with them, I'm not exactly sure just yet, but I have the apples. The chapel is cool and placid inside. The lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air Symbolism. of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. It's a durable quality lectern from Stern Lecterns. Remember, when you want to deliver a lecture at a lectern, make it a Stern Lecture. <laughs> I always love the writings in these games. Again, Monkey Island seems to be the pinnacle of them. Apples, apples, apples for sale. It's yeah. fresh apples. Yes, yes, fresh apples. The um, old Lucas Art games were always also good. Uh, I remember Indiana Jones and the uh, uh, Temple. Oh no, Lost City of Atlantis. I believe was the video game. All right, so. I totally don't need that, but you're so sweet for offering. All right, so let's see about playing some blackjack instead. Oh, I lost again. Let's go get some 10 bucks from Mr. Brokey here. I have to wait for him to walk to me. Oh, uh, at least the scenery's not bad. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Contiki, sir. I think you're beginning to take advantage of my good nature. It wasn't my fault. That's what they all say. The third time. Thanks again. It's really good to know you're around. Alright, what I'm gonna do... Save. Save. And move on, so that way I'll just reload. Matter of fact, I'll just do it right here. Okay. So, welcome back. I just won 70 bucks quite easily playing blackjack. I wish it was that easy in real life. So now I'm again at a loss of what to do. Uh, shoot, I got an apple. What good does I that do? I don't take gifts from strangers, and I can't imagine anyone stranger than you. Here, this is for me. Well, how nice. Thank me. I'm welcome. <laughs> Hmm, hmm, hmm. So again, I'm at a loss here of what I need to do. I need something sweet. Apples, apples, apples for sale. So let's, why not? Uh, okay, let's go to Fawn. And let's see if an apple is sweet enough for her. I'm working on finding you everything you want, baby, and giving it all- I'll wait, Larry. I'll be back before you know it. Was that it? Can I leave now? Oh, thank God. Okay. Still can't go that way. All right, so I need chocolate. Apple won't work. 
Enjoy your evening, sir.